Farm Guy here, and in this video, we'll be looking at the update to the Ultimate Mowing and Baling Pack by Mac Trucker 921 on Farming Simulator 22. This is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on Fox Farm, and this is 70.87 megabytes of download. It's quite a um, substantial pack of um, items, and if we go into our not there yes there uh, into our mods and DLCs we can take a look at everything that's in uh, included we have a mower we have a couple of case um, balers that have been um, updated in this update and we have a couple of new Pottinger uh, balers that have replaced uh, the previous balers and we have a wind rower a tether and a wrapper now uh, first of all this is update change log 1.1.0.1 so it's uh i'll go through quickly through the updates uh fixed an issue with the balers where the wheel chocks were always visible so a visual thing fixed the issue that the liftable case baler would not make liftable bales right so that uh looks like it has been resolved or we'll test actually we'll test that actually because here it is uh super wide now they've changed the lettering here we got i don't know if i i don't remember this uh the baler has uh the liftable barrel or had labeled liftable bale and so on um additional work modes to the mower to uh, facilitate the three-point link that's now available uh, replace the Kloss balers, so no mo no longer Kloss, it's the Pottinger baler. That's what it was replacing, the Kloss, now it's Pottinger. Um, and added a 4 meter pickup. Uh, also, the Pottinger has a 4 meter pickup, and here we go. Here is the case with a 4 meter, so much wider pickup on it, which is very nice. And added configurable strobes to and extra colors to the balers. So... What do we look at first? Let's take a look at the balers first and we'll go into balers. And here we are. We have a extra capacity baler and we have the liftable. So we have a choice. If you don't want the liftable bales, that's fine. You can make them in the standard. We'll look we'll take a look at the liftable ones anyways. Uh, so strobe light options, we have strobes yellow. Uh, red, blue, purple, pink, green, white, yellow and white, red and blue, red, white and blue, pink and purple, blue and white, green, and white, or none. So there we go. That's on the side. There we go. See them right beside the uh, rotor cutter. There. So that's where those are. A rear hitch. Okay. Of course, that's still the same. A silage additive tank and main colors and so forth so uh and the wide super wide pickup is standard on both of them so if we go over to the notice it doesn't have liftable on uh the wording it's just super wide this one you can see on the front says liftable very nice nice touch now the pottinger let's take a look at the impress pro liftable and see if anywhere on it says liftable i don't see where this one indicates that it makes liftable bales that would have been nice but it's pretty obvious once you start making them so this is basically new uh it is 150 horsepower uh it is uh 22 slots on console the case is 17. we have a couple of uh wheel brands to choose from uh, wheel setups are you did i don't know why it's there you can't change them warning signs you get a yes or a no my menu is a little bit slow in here it's a little laggy so i'm not sure but it hasn't crashed yet so strobes there we go strobes are on the sides above the pottinger and yeah it's a little bit slow loading this so that's what's going on we have all the same options there we have the rear hitch of course yes or no uh, actually we have no ball or pin hitch 
So those are the options. Same with the other one. Silage tank, yes or no. Foil color. We have uh, a bunch of uh, awesome looking colors. We can make it even stainless steel. However, if you choose a stainless steel as I did, it's not going to... Uh, yeah, well, we'll show you that. That's still not... Mm, transferring the color to the bales for some reason main color we'll make it blue and that is that so let's go ahead and make it pink just so you can see all the pink bits there design color we're gonna make that yellow and that is those all the yellow bits well let's make it let's make it green just so you know there we go there's the green bits there are some yellow bits you can't change rim color again we can make that orange so that you can see the rims right and a license plate so the other one is exactly the same i have one of each down there the other thing that was added was in the mowers and here it is uh, the front mower nothing has been added the rear mower ultimate mowing and baling pack the uh, extra 71,000T or 7100T. Uh, work mode, we have the Vario or the Vario BX. That has not changed. What has changed is the rear hitch. We can have now a ball hitch, a pin hitch, or a rear three point hitch. Uh, that has been added. We're going to, and they've added some options that you should know of using that so let's look at that first because that's pretty simple to show we'll start up our vehicle uh, you get it like this you can l1 and x unfold it so i have the uh the swath uh choice dropping on the back so that's where he gives you some added uh work modes r1 uh, l1 and circle lowers it so that that's in the ready to go position uh, R1 is where you can select your work mode, R1 and L3. So right now it's three point hitch is up and everything else looks like it's uh, in the down position. So let's just go out here into the grass and kind of demonstrate a little bit about what's going on here. So the three point hitch is in the up position. So if you have something attached with the three point hitch, it's gonna be raised. So let's turn on the mowers go for it so right now I have it uh, the swath uh, swathing to the middle uh, R1 and L3 so L3 now we have a three-point hitch down so now when you choose that everything is down but then you have all these other choices I press it again we have um, straight cutting to the right the hitch is up the left basically a left swath and three point hitch up press it again right swath three point hitch up press it again left swath three point hitch down right swath three point hitch down everything is the wide swath everything is up so as you drive forward everything just drops as it is and a three point hitch is up uh, R1 and L3 again, then the three-point hitch is down. So if you're trailing a tether, or uh, not a tether, um, a wind rower, or a tether for that matter, you could pull a tether behind you or whatever you might want to do, then it's down. So that's, and then swathing all together. And so you have all these different hitch up or down with the left and right, and it's kind of like a little bit of a animatronic show here with me pressing the button and everything's going up and down and and all so forth so that is what has been added which is nice um kind of, well as long as you know what's going on here so just pick the one you need and uh, the when you're trailing or whatever you're towing behind so that is that right the baler the case baler so we have um right the hit the front um let's turn it on sorry let's turn on the baler um and let's just go forward i'll show you this kind of go through the take a swipe through here and that is the width of the pickup if 
that kind of illustrates it. So it's a nice wide pickup. Of course, the bales, we have the variable uh, variable size of bales, which has not changed. Uh, turn off the baler so we can bale size. So it's a variable sizes too, right? So we can scroll through all these sizes. 180 is the regular 180, the 220 or the 240, but if you press it once more, we get the 182, which is actually 180 centimeter bale double capacity and that goes through them and then you got triple capacity and quadruple capacity and then back to the 180 so let's just uh spit out the three bales that i had made and these should be liftable because it came out of the liftable and as you can see here 90 kilograms so that's nice but we have 5,000 liters uh, here we have a 90 kilogram, oh, this 5,000 liters because I, uh, I changed it uh, late. 15,000 liters at 90 kilograms. So there's one that looks actually the same size in um, appearance, but it contains 15,000 liters. And so that's all working. That's all nice. Everything is working great with that. So moving on to the Pottinger. Now this one here, uh, as we can see, is 15,000 liter round bale. It's 180 centimeter round bale and it is liftable. So that's excellent. And if we hop into here, um, it holds 420 liters of silage additive as well. So that's very nice. That, I don't believe that had changed. As we pull forward, I have it set on a very large, so we're gonna go for a little bit here. I have a very wide swath of grass, as you can see, but it has no problems picking it up. It's not missing anything, and there we go. We're up to the 15,000 liters. And very nicely, it wraps it quite quickly. It is not a fast baler where you can continuously go, but as you can see here, it wraps that bale fairly quickly and 15,000 liters of grass is nothing to sneeze at. Although I sneeze a lot. And uh, as you can see here, it is liftable. So ba bam very nice. And it has the hitch available so that if you wish to attach a auto load baler behind, you may do so, which would be very handy indeed. Now this other one over here, I have selected, as you can see, it has the chrome stainless steel wrap. However, when it gets wrapped, it is not that color. It goes white, unfortunately. So I'm not sure why it's continuing to do that. But uh, this is the non-liftable bale baler. As you can see, 1.3 tons. Yes, 1.3 tons. Uh, we'll turn it on. Uh, works just like the other one. Really, it does. It's just when it produces bales, it produces the non-liftable bales. And we'll just show you this. As you can see, as I said, the uh, the wrap is chrome. However, when it spits out the uh, the bale, goes to wrap it. It wraps it. Uh, up appears to wrap it in white so um, but it's very quick and it's efficient um, and it's a non liftable bale for those of you and so it also has a hitch if you uh, would like to uh, attach a auto load baler for non liftable bales right so there's plenty out there Mac trucker does make a liftable bale uh, or a, a, an auto load bale trailer as well. So you might want to try that one out. But anyways, uh, that, oh, the strobes. Yes, the strobes, there you go. So strobe lights, the purple ones on this one, as you can see here, nearly missed the strobes. Let's get the strobe lights on this one. There we go. This is the white and green I picked. Very nice, actually, like it. Uh, strobes on this one, case, uh, doesn't have as many strobes. It's just those two on the back. Oh, wait a minute. We got, oh, there we go. We got one on the front 
and on this one on the side here these are the uh, blue I believe yes blue right and then the LED whoop come on hop up there jump up there we go and that one up there and there you go everybody that is the update to the um, ultimate mowing and bailing pack by mac trucker 921 on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching i'm looney farm guy and remember it's only a game so till next time bye for now